Good morning, folks. We've got a quiet star up there. We'll go over current space weather, get a follow-up to yesterday's top story, pre-earthquake signals, and an unprecedented rain event. Starting with our star, we find its face was very quiet over the last day. Solar flaring has quieted down and the plasma filaments are stable for the moment. Solar wind is slightly enhanced due to the minor coronal hole streams driving some sustained geomagnetic instability this morning, but again, nothing major. The sunspots we've been tracking have continued to be content with their lot. Not much development or morphing, hence the lack of flares. So let's go to the articles. You'll recall yesterday we covered the heat wave on Jupiter and how it's actually a repeat story from 2021, but with important climate forcing implications for the Earth as that solar wind energy is distributed across the globe with similar equatorward traveling waves. Another way this works is through direct coupling between the geomagnetic field and ionospheric winds. This would be part of the instantaneous forcing that we've gone over in detail on previous occasions. Another way the sun affects the whole world and that's in chapter two of our newest book, The Observer Supplement. We've got an excellent look at pre-earthquake atmospheric electricity. I think we've covered about 200 of these papers over the last decade, and while they're getting good at noticing them, not so keen on using them to warn people just yet, but maybe someday. And a similar study on the magnetic anomalies before earthquakes in California. By the way, one of these authors was one of our greatest critics when we were saying similar things years ago. Welcome to the party, pal. Most of that information is in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. When it comes to the changing Earth and larger geomagnetic situation of our planet, in the next end of the world, and again in that newest supplement, we have forecast continued extreme weather and several other things to watch for, and here's another in the long list of how they keep happening. By the way, this one is driven by the China cold vortex, and nobody has misconceptions that it's due to warming. And it was indeed a wild, record-breaking, and unprecedented precipitation regime that should have the world on notice about the severity of these changes. Get all three of our books and much more at the Shopify link below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.